Hello everyone, welcome to this GoSkills.com video. My name is Francesco and in this video what we're going to be doing is looking at how you can go and choose your to-do list application. Now there's many people out there that have downloaded a fair amount of to-do list apps and it's important to understand what a to-do list is for. Now adding tasks and organizing projects is the real core of actually being able to have a to-do list application. So being able to manage your to-dos, the things that you've got to do in your day and in a couple of weeks or with any project that you have. So you need to understand your situation to start with. What I tend to say is that, are you gonna be using this for work? For example, you know, you doing work with team members and, and working with them on specific projects, or are you gonna be using it for studying? So actually being able to use it for revision and things like that. Obviously there are other situations, but these are the core two. So are you gonna use it in a personal or professional situation or both? Do you just want it for yourself? or do you want it for work or both of those situations? And are you looking for a lightweight or an advanced application? Now, I'm gonna go through what a lightweight one is an advanced and then we'll round up to sort of help you understand what the best solution is for you. So lightweight to-do list applications are really, really simple. They're simple in functionality. They tend to include reminders, so they remind you of the tasks you've got to do at the time that it appears. They have due dates, so you know, you've got to actually assign something to a date. So you actually gonna do it on Saturday uh, and actually add tasks. So things like subtasks as well as um, small, smaller versions of the tasks that you have. So they tend to be used for personal use and uh, they pretty much take no time to set up. So they're very useful for those who wanna organize themselves, organize stuff outside of work and are very easy to get started with. So some recommendations, Do2 is a great one for Mac. Sorted, iOS and Mac, very good solution. iOS Reminders is another one, and Microsoft To Do have just launched their recent service, which actually does a good job at keeping a very lightweight experience um, for you out there looking for a uh, brilliant to-do list application that's lightweight. So moving on to Advanced, now you're probably wondering, what does an Advanced uh, experience mean? It has all the same features as lightweight, so the reminders, the due dates, etc. But it has these things called context points, so you can add things like time taken for a task to com be completed. Uh, you can add labels, so these are more context points um, that you can add. Brilliant, useful, uh, especially in your, if you're in a situation. And they tend to have a superior search function, which means you can find stuff quite easily um, and find it for later. So that's quite handy. And then you can actually start projects uh, and new tasks within those projects. So if this on the left, right is Todoist. As you can see, I've got projects down the side and you can share with team members. So you can actually share and collaborate, assign tasks to other people in your team. Now, mainly used for professional uses, whether that's being freelance or actually working in a team, they tend to be the priority, but you can use them and merge it with your personal use as well. So don't rule that one out. I personally use Todoist for um, being able to use my personal and professional. There are other solutions as well. So Asana is a good one. Trello, again, a good one. Both two really strong team applications for to-do lists. They're to do with the number two and do app and things as well as very handy solutions to get things done. So when it comes to what's right for you, you need to ask yourself a few questions. Like what do you use now? Like you need to understand what you use now, whether it's a pen and paper or whether you actually wanted to choose an application that you already use like um, iOS reminders or something like that. Now, what do you need the task for? Be clear on what you're actually gonna do and relate back to those lightweight and advanced experiences. And then do I need to invite team members? Do I need to bring them along for the ride? And do and will I blend it with my professional personal stuff? Because you need to make sure that you understand that fully so that you are using it in the right way. So what I recommend is download one of those applications, however, however one suits you, Use it for a full month and start to write down some of the issues you're finding with it and then look for another solution. Now you can go to goskills.com and read up on a couple of the productivity apps there. Go a bit deeper in the understanding of them because you will have to learn a bit more about them. So that's a useful resource. Um, so definitely go and download them and check it out. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. We really do appreciate it. So make sure to go check out goskills.com and we'll see you very soon. Cheers.